more than 40 years, the pages of Chernobyl nuclear power plant history are updated every day with new events, facts and figures. Some years are full of bright pictures, fireworks and photo flashes, while others are filled with simple and routine quality performance of work. 2018 is the year that included visits of distinguished guests, small victories and the difficult daily work of several thousand people to fulfill the main functions of the enterprise. Turning the leaves of every work calendar, let's recall the events of this year. State Architecture and Construction Inspectorate of Ukraine confirmed the operational readiness of the new safe confinement enclosing perimeter. Hazardous and difficult works on the reconstruction of the Sechen Pipit second generation main building, including the reinforcement and sealing of the building structures, as well as reconstruction of all existing systems of the shelter containment and monitoring systems, were completed. Start of transportation of reductive waste packages produced during the pre-operational test at the liquid reductive waste treatment plant. 63 reductive waste packages were delivered for disposal to the engineered near surface disposal facility. Within modernization of the interim spent nuclear fuel wet type storage facility ISF1, works on replacing the electric power equipment at the first commissioning stage of the storage facility were completed. Completion of dismantling of the light roof of power unit number 4 turbine hall. Control levels of external exposure of personnel of contracting company Novarka during the works were not exceeded. Conduction of staff conference and trend union conference of the enterprise, which specified the session PP social policy for the year. Completion of works on reconstruction of the liquid radioactive waste treatment plant. Integrated test of its systems and equipment were finished. The plant was accepted for operation in line with the certificate of the State Architecture and Construction Inspectorate of Ukraine. Completion of large scaled works on installing the ceiling anchors. A special membrane is assembled to the new safe confinement ceiling at the junctions between the arch and wall and existing structures of the CHNPP second generation main building. This membrane serves as a divided barrier between the external and internal environment. Electronic system of filing and application for visiting the CHNPP site was introduced and familiarization tours to the plant's facilities were organized at the Chernobyl NPP. Staff of the Shelter Object and New Safe Confinement Operations Shop celebrated its 30th anniversary. Following the audit, the State Accounting Chamber of Ukraine confirmed the targeted and efficient use of the state budget funds by the Chernobyl NPP. Obtaining of the State Nuclear Regulatory Inspectorate's certificate for the design of a package to transport the spent fuel assemblies and additional absorbers of RBMK-1000 reactors. 23rd of April, the Chernobyl MPP hosts an off-site meeting of the working group of the Committee of the Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine on environmental policy, nature resources utilization and elimination of the Chernobyl catastrophic consequences. Important issues of financing the facilities that are under construction and social support of CHNPP workers we are discussed at this meeting. 26 of April, the President of Ukraine, Petro Poroshenko, visited the Chernobyl NPP site. He took part in the commemorative events, presented the state awards to the accident liquidators, CHNPP workers, as well as conducted an extended meeting on restoration of the areas which suffered the radioactive contamination and on improvement of the state policy in the field of radioactive waste management. Specialists of the Belgian company Technobel conducted at the CHNPP the advanced training courses on operation and maintenance of multifunctional manipulators Brock 180 and Brock 330, which are used at the solid radioactive waste processing plant. Similar training continued throughout the year. Chernobyl NPP hosts international experts of the World Association of Nuclear Operators, who share their experience on radioactive material characterization using nuclide vectors. 
Chernobyl NPP joined the worldwide campaign put on Lishivanka. Running the competition on Fire Brigade games among women for the first time ever in the Chernobyl NPP history. Staff of Chernobyl nuclear power plant traditionally took part in a parade devoted to birthday of Slavutich town. The CHNPP column, as usual, was the largest. Approval of the state investment project, implementation of the new safe confinement second commission stage and dismantling of the shelters and stable structures. Specialists of the radioactive waste management shop are carrying out individual tests of the chemical water treatment automatic process control system. Personnel of the radiation safety shop, jointly with radiation safety workers of Joint Venture Navarka and specialists of the Institute for Safety Problems of Nuclear Power Plants under the National Academy of Sciences of Ukraine, performed measurements of exposure dose on site near the new safe confinement. The exposure dose values after the new safe confinement's arch installation into the design position and ceiling were reduced by 10-20 times. Specialists of the Individual Dosimetric Control Laboratory and the Radiation Safety Shop and Information Technologies and Computing Systems Department of the Chernobyl Nuclear Power Plant, jointly with the state specialized enterprise Echo Center, commenced a full scale work on creating the unified register of individual exposure doses of personnel of enterprises, institutions, and organizations of the exclusion zone. In pursuance of the expanded program of the second stage of hot tests, specialists of the radioactive waste management shop are repacking high-level waste being stored in building number 12. In July, the solid radioactive waste processing plant accepted from the temporary storage facility six containers with high-level waste. Four primary packages were produced and delivered to the storage facility for high, low and intermediate level long lived waste. On 11th of July, the electric shop marked its 45th anniversary. The electric shop is not just a production unit within our plant. It is the largest department both in the number of personnel and in the volume of equipment to be maintained. Rodos system was put into operation at the Chernobyl NPP. It is a real-time online decision support system for nuclear emergency management in Europe. State specialized enterprise Chernobyl Nuclear Power Plant became a host site for the IAEA Regional Workshop on Eight States for Nuclear Power Plant Decommissioning and the clearance of materials from decommissioning, in which about 50 representatives from six countries took part. Chernobyl NPP obtained the State Nuclear Regulatory Inspectorate certificate that confirmed the operational readiness of the completed facility, new safe confinement. This became an important step towards the final stage, commissioning of the new safe confinement. General Director Igor Gramotkin resigned from his position after 13 years of the plant management. Valery Seda was appointed as an acting General Director. All electric boilers that are installed at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant were equipped with the modern zone electricity meters. Installation of meters for domestic portable water lines in the electric boilers is in progress. Completion of construction and installation works at the backup electric boiler for the new safe confinement heat supply. Chernobyl NPP for the first time ever represents Ukraine in the international exhibition which was held in the United Nations office at Vienna within the 62nd General Conference of IAEA. The stand Chernobyl, the territory of change, became the most popular at this forum. Start of construction works on the creation of a facility for release of materials from regulatory control at the CHNPP site. The Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine adopted a law on introduction of amendments to the national program of the Chernobyl NPP decommissioning as a shelter object transformation into environmentally safe system. 
which precise terms and volumes of financing the activities of the Chernobyl and PP decommissioning and the shelter transformation for the period until 2020. Our plan became the first nuclear power plant at the site of which the alternative energy is generated. On 5th of October, an official ceremony of the solar power plant Solar Chernobyl commissioning was held. Within the IAEA Technical Cooperation, specialists from Lithuania conducted a week training course on the advanced radionuclide activity measurement techniques using a mass spectrometer. One fuel channel and one control and protection system channel we are removed from a reactor of unit number one within the framework of preparation for works under the project. Final shutdown and preservation of CHNPP units number one, two and three. One of the oldest shops of the enterprise, Thermal Automatics and Measurement Shop, marked its 45th anniversary. Five thousand cubic meters of radioactive waste we are transported from the Chernobyl MPP site for disposal. Commissioning of a facility for generation of gaseous nitrogen, nitrogen generator. It will allow the enterprise getting away from using the outdated and energy intense equipment. In the expiring year, works on the creation of additional radioactive waste storage facilities in the CHNPP turbine hall and energy saving works we are performed. Works on the reconstruction of CHNPP office in Slavutich, in which it is planned to equip 140 workplaces, are coming to an end. At the new safe confinement, considerable scopes of construction, installation and electrical fitting works were performed. Pre-commissioning activities, individual and integrated tests of system set equipment are coming to an end. Training of the new safe confinement operating personnel is underway. Radiation and ecological state of the CHNPP cooling pond was under continuous monitoring. Works on dismantling of the equipment of unit number one turbine hall were completed for 92%. Fragmentation of the early dismantled equipment and metal structures are in progress. At the interim spent nuclear fuel dry type storage facility, ISF2, there is continuation of works focused on various tests of equipment and systems. Based on the results of individual testing, more than 90% of equipment was accepted. Based on the results of integrated testing, about 65% of auxiliary systems was accepted. Over 8,000 different types of trainings, practical courses and drills were carried out for CHNPP workers with the purpose of professional and qualification training, retraining, proficiency maintaining and advanced training. Over 1,000 such trainings were carried out for contracting organizations that perform works within the industrial site. Chernobyl nuclear power plant continues to be in the highlight of the public. 422 delegations and more than 3,500 people visited the plant within this year. More than 1,000 people from them applied for the tour via the online system visit. Summarizing, it's safe to say that over the year the enterprise's staff has successfully fulfilled all tasks set by the state, both in the field of power units decommissioning and the shelter transformation into an environmentally safe system. But the most important thing is that during the year the CHNPP staff made the industrial site safer. This year was a year of the quality work aimed at the results and a year of gradual movement towards the objectives set for the enterprise at the state level. <laughs>